Today we have a little bit of a surprise. We're going to do a new review here of this guy. Um, this is um, an Epiphone Riviera, uh, early 2000s. Anyways, um, this is also what is new in the studio, this guy. Um, you may have seen our shorts on it, um, but we're going to kind of go through how it sounds and kind of its features. So to get motivated, you notice that they've may have noticed that they've uh, reissued these with an E here, and I think even an E up here. This one only has the E on the headstock. Anyways, this has the E, the new ones have the E down here too, the Epiphone E. But, so this one's an earlier one. It doesn't have the, it's not the same color as the new ones either. I can't remember exactly what they call this color. Um, but yeah, it's got two volumes for each pickup and two tones for each pickup. And each pickup are mini humbuckers. So um, we've got, you know, that nice humbucker fat sound. So um, to kind of start off here, I'm gonna show you the three different sounds that it has through these humbuckers. So we'll start with the first position, which is the uh, bridge pickup. And then we'll do the second one, which is both pickups. And then we'll do the third one, which I believe is just the neck pickup. It's kind of what I've noticed, but we'll find out. So here is how we sound if we were to play it through um, clean um, with just that bridge pickup. <laughs> So anyways, um, that's clean. That's what it sounds like through that. I'll do an overdrive here in a little bit, but um, kind of what I've noticed, it's it's kind of bright. It works really well kind of as a lead tone. Um, you know, it's got that nice bright. Everything's kind of nice and bright and whatnot. And you can you know, obviously dial in your tone for each each you know thing with your sounds. But, and then we move into both pickups, which is a little darker. So that gives you a little fatter tone, a little more kind of that jazzy tone, I suppose. And then you've got uh, just this pickup, which sounds like this. Um, so that's kind of that in a nutshell. Uh, the main thing is um, it sounds good, and there's not a bad setting. You can't, like, oh, it sounds better in the you know, the bridge pickup, or it sounds better in the neck pickup, or if I do both, it sounds better with both. Um, it's kind of sounds good no matter what you do with this guitar. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the wood is made out of. Um, it is a hollow body. So the Riviera is a hollow body, and it's got this funny tail piece, as you can kind of see here. There's a little bit of a tail piece. Um, and they call it their Frequencator, I think is how you pronounce that. Anyways, it's it's just a, like a floating tail piece, um, so you I don't know you can do some fun stuff like do some fun stuff like that. A little bit of a vibrato with some of your higher notes. You can do it with your uh, you can do it with all of them. Get you a little bit of you know tremolo without having a tremolo piece. But anyways, um, I like this guitar so far. Um, we bought it at Music Around in Fort Collins. Colorado. Anyways, if you're curious where we get some of our stuff. Um, but this particular guitar, I sat down and I started playing it at the shop they have there. And it was like, I was looking for exactly a guitar like this. And you know, it does not disappoint. Anyways, as I keep playing, I'm going to keep fidgeting with this as, as we go through the video. So sorry for those who were looking for a more straight up video review of this. This is a little bit different review. Um, I could not tell you the, the tuners, which kind of, you can look all this stuff up. That's kind of why I'm not going through it. Um, but it is a beautiful guitar. Um, sounds great. I've ran it through an AC30. Sounds great. Ran it through the Fender. It sounds good, but not as good as it does through the AC30. And it could be the configuration of the humbuckers and how it sounds. Um, I have not ran it through an Ignator yet. Um, that will probably be a video where we run th this through all three of those. But for today's distortion sounds, we're just going through Luna and doing um, a Marshall Plexi sound. So I'm going to turn the overdrive on. 
overdrive is on now, and we'll start back with our neck pickup, or I'm sorry, our bridge pickup. <laughs> So it gets very bitey, you know, with that that Marshall sound, but it still sounds great. Like, not a bad thing. Probably use this more for our recording main stuff and use the telly for other stuff that we're not doing. Um, still have our telly, but anyways. And then, so we're going to do overdrive with both pickups. And then now with our neck pickup. Um, I do love the sustain of this guitar. It's a side note. But like I said, there's not a bad sound on this guitar. Like some guitars, you know, you get in the pickup and you're like, oh, that pickup sounds okay. Or that pickup sound, you know, this configuration sounds better than when it's in this. You know, this one, I've played it through all the different positions. I've had other friends who are guitar players play through all the different positions. And they're like, man, that, this guitar is fantastic. Where can I get one? And I told them, you can't get this one. <laughs> uh, because it's they reissued them, and they're different now. They're different woods, different uh, uh, finishes even. Um, they don't do this finish anymore. They do a finish that's similar to it, but not quite like this one. Um, from what I'm told, this guitar will just increase in value. I don't really care if it does because I don't really ever plan on getting rid of it um, but it works really well as a rhythm guitar which I play a lot of rhythm um, could work for you know like lead type stuff could work for um, I don't know it could work for all sorts of things I, I do like it overdriven it's a great it's a great overdriven guitar um, and we put it through the Vox and the Vox just it was like this thing sings um, and then we'll put it through, I put it through the Fender and it did work through the Fender. And like I said, we'll probably do some kind of amp shootout with this guitar like that. Like which amp does it sound best in? Anyways, um, so far we're running through this Plexi through Luna and it sounds fantastic. Um, but there's not something I've put this through where I'm like, yeah, it doesn't sound great through that amp. Like, no, it sounds good through that. It just sounds different. Um, the mini humbuckers are a different, um, a different beast altogether when it comes to humbuckers because usually humbuckers are a little fatter, they're wider, you know, they're like in two inches thick. This is like half that. I don't know the real dimensions of a, of a humbucker, so don't quote me on that one. But overall, it's like, why not have this guitar? Um, I'm sure the reissues are just as good. I don't know what pickups they're putting in the reissues. Um, I'm not sure what pickups they put in here either. Um, this one has been slightly modified before I got it where they put Switchcraft jacks and switchcraft switchers and stuff in it and kind of just made it a little bit better of a guitar um in that standpoint but um when i did get it i did have to tighten some of the nuts on the volume pots just because they had come loose but that took like five minutes and we were done um great guitar i do recommend if you're using this guitar use a 90 jack because you will smack your hand on it um if you're not careful which i did i smacked my hand on it it hurt I actually broke the cable when I did it. But um, that's kind of this guitar in a nutshell. Um, I'm not sure what gauge strings we're running on here or what. I'm pretty sure this is a, I'm not even sure what the nut's made out of on this guitar either. Um, I tried to do some research and couldn't find exactly this guitar. I could find ones like it, but couldn't find exactly this one. Um, I'm sure the older ones are, I think the older ones were, these ones were made of walnut maybe. I don't know. Or even, even the older ones were made of different woods too. Because um, they've been making these for, since, you know, 60s or 70s. So anyways, um, thanks for watching. I'm going to stop here so I don't keep randoli, rambling. Um, hit the like and subscribe if you like these videos. If you don't, um, send me a comment and see what we can do better. Or, or a message even, you know. We'll fit, we can Let us know what we can do better. Um, but we do appreciate everybody who's liked and subscribed so far. You know, keep keep it up. Keep watching our videos. Keep subscribing. Keep sharing our stuff if you like it. If you don't, share it and laugh at it too, maybe. Um, so that's today's video, and we will see you all next time.